Well, hello everybody, back again, it's Monday, and it's time to shave with a, a cheap razor, inexpensive razor, let's call it that, the Parker 99R. I was shaving with the one blade, uh, the, the high-end luxury razor for uh, all of last week, pretty much, and it's time to get back into the realm of uh, the, the everyday shave with a, like a normal guy like me <laughs> that can't buy $200 razors right and left. But I can get it, you know, this is about a $24 razor and it's fantastic. The Parker 99R. Uh, I'm going to shave with some very special soap here that was sent to me by a gentleman named Robert Harding who made this specifically to share with me and his family. He does this for fun. He makes soaps and shaving soaps. And it's some space soap. You can't buy this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. You, this is not available to anyone but me and Robert, if you know him. So thanks, Robert, for sending me this. And he made some other soaps, too. He made, made this space soap. And he made some soap soap. So thanks, Robert. I've been using that. I've tried this out, and I like it a lot. So I'm going to show you about that. And I'm going to be using a brush. I'm not going to be using the Sinatra Linen brush, which you can buy right now. And I saw that Ken Serves had purchased one of these. That was really cool. So thanks, Ken, for uh, buying one of these and showing it off on your channel. And uh, I guess I need to do a Ken Serves shave. I'm going to get one of those crystal skulls, you know, like a tribute shave. I think I just cut, I cut my finger when I was putting the soap away because this, the... the <laughs> Not on a razor, on the dang medicine cabinet. Anyway, let's start to shave. That's enough talking. Congratulations to the winner of the uh, the one blade, and thanks for everybody who entered. All right, I took a shower, did my hair, put some hot water, hot water on my face. Ooh, I'm gonna be using the West Coast shaving brush, the Jolly Rancher one that I love so much, synthetic. This is also a synthetic brush, the Sinatra London one from DS Cosmetics. And uh, let's open this thing up. So this is, Robert made this. Uh, he said I didn't have to shout him out, but I, it's so good I want to tell you about it. It's black. You see that? Because it's got charcoal in it. But it is a peppermint menthol soap, and it's great. It's kind of a, a hard uh, shaving, uh, uh, not a puck, but it's not a cream either, shaving soap. Let's call it... <laughs> Duh, shaving soap. So this is some good stuff that Robert made for me, and I've tried it out a couple of times, and I really like it. And actually, uh, he sent me two uh, these space soaps. I'm, I'm going to put this into the package of the winner who got the one blade. So uh, with your permission, Robert, I'm going to send this off to the winner um, so he can try it out too and spread the love and spread the, uh, yeah, thanks. All right, let's lather up, shall we? You know, after all these uh, giveaways and fancy razors and taking notes every day and thinking about it a lot, you know, it's like, let's just, let's just shave. You want to just shave? All right, let's do that. This stuff lathers really well. It smells like peppermint. It's got just a hint of menthol. Look at that. Some good stuff. It smells great. I wish, you know, Robert, there might be a demand for this stuff. I don't know if you're uh, in the mood to, oh, this stuff lathers so well. Um, I don't know if you're in the mood to become a small business owner. <laughs> I'm sure it's like a pain in the butt and you just like doing it for fun. And I understand. I'm just kidding. Don't, uh, don't feel pressure. But if people ask for this stuff, then you can leave a comment down there. Maybe you can, who knows, but thanks for sending it to me. And like I said, I'll include the, uh, the second space. soap in the package to the winner of the one blaze. So you can try it out too. This stuff is great. I mean, I don't know. He said it's all natural ingredients like beef tallow and the other things, stearic acid and all the things that go into soap making. And he just did a great job. All right, the Parker 99R, about 25 bucks and a feather blade, which I think this is my third use of the feather blade. Uh, normally I get four or five uses out of one of these double-edged feather blades. Um, so let's see how it does. Yesterday I, I used this because I hadn't used the Parker in a long time. And uh, I got a ton of nicks, and I don't know what the problem was. Actually, I can feel it pulling a little bit. I might need to switch the blade. If you feel like tugging as you shave, like the whiskers are tugging, that means you might need a new blade. And I'm feeling that to a certain extent down here on my cheeks. I'm gonna tough through it. I'm gonna tough, I'm gonna tough it out. Should I tough it out? Yeah, I'm going to. Today's shout out. Goes out to Chad, who's having a 46th birthday this this uh, very soon. So happy birthday to you, Chad! Shout out. And uh, he requested uh, a sample of the 
Taylor of Old Bond Street soap, so I'm gonna eventually get that to you. I haven't done it yet. I've been busy teaching my my two boys to ride their bikes. It took them all of two days to learn, and my youngest really figured out the trick uh, of how to you know start riding, and then he showed that to his big brother. I couldn't be more proud of those guys. On Friday, well actually, Saturday morning, Friday morning, they couldn't ride a bike, and now they're that's all they want to do is ride their bikes. <laughs> ride their bikes around the neighborhood. It's their first taste of freedom, you know? You remember that feeling? Used to have, uh, back in the 70s, used to ride big wheels all over the place. You ever have a big wheel? Do they sell those in the UK? I don't know. Or in other parts of Europe? Probably not. That seems like a quintessential American thing. A big wheel is like this three-wheel, low-to-the-ground, plastic uh, toy, you know. It's not, not a tricycle. Because it's got a big wheel on the front. Big wheel on the front, too small on the back. But man, back in the 70s, we were like a little motorcycle gang on those things. I'm trying not to cut myself, but I do have the Allen block ready and close by. The gentleman, gentleman John, just got that on Amazon. I don't know, it was like $6 or something. I don't like using it because I don't like the feel of it. But uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Right, folks? Yeah, that's right. Oh, and for the aftershave, I'm gonna use some Barbasol aftershave. Also cheap. It's, we're, we're doing it on the cheap today. We're going back, we're scaling back. While I enjoy uh, dipping a toe into the luxury shaving market, um, I couldn't live there, you know? <laughs> it's kinda like going to a really fancy restaurant. It's like, you know what, I just, I think I'm gonna go back to that barbecue joint that we really love. Let's do that afterwards, okay? Man. This Parker 99R is a pretty aggressive razor, but it will get rid of those whiskers, man. All right, second pass. Hot water again. Right? Do you see this? See this wound? I did not cut myself shaving on my forehead. Thank goodness I don't have to shave my forehead because that would take a long time. I got a giant forehead. That's why everybody says I look like Nicolas Cage. <laughs> hey, Nicolas Cage. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a giant forehead. I can, I can show a drive-in movie on it. Anyway, no, it's not, I was not shaving. It's not a shaving cut. My Saturday morning, just lying in bed, the uh, the youngest boy comes in to cuddle and hang out, and somehow his fingernail just, he got me, and it just, yeah, got me. See? You always hurt the ones you love, don't you? <laughs> I'm looking around here. I haven't tried the, uh, Robert, I haven't tried this one yet, but this is like a grapefruit scent. Let me show it to you. It's actually orange. Look at that. Ooh, it's like Halloween. Wow, this has got soap on it. But orange and black, Halloween time. Halloween is coming. It can't get here soon enough. The cool weather can't get here soon enough. Ah, so still, still in the 90s here. I know this isn't weather chat, and it's also not screw the top back on a shaving tin chat, so let's just shave. <laughs> but uh, yeah. We had a, uh, I spent more time. Outside this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, riding bikes. Then I've uh, spent out outside in a long time. <laughs> it's been so dang hot. But you gotta do it, you know, they're so excited. Because we tried in the past and they gave up really quick and I kind of gave up really quick. But now I feel like a good parent. Finally, I'm a good parent. I've taught them to ride a bike. Sort of. I gave them uh, some hints and then they took it from there, which was even cooler. And I did that thing that uh, kids used to do like back in the olden days in the 50s where you, where you put a playing card in the spokes of your bike so it sounds like a motorcycle engine. It's so cool. Have you ever done that? Bringing back the old school stuff that time has forgotten. Okay, no nicks yet. Cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen. Cross your fingers. I'm looking, uh, I'm looking to do, I, I need some of your advice, some of you uh, uh, guys in the UK. What would be a good bunch of products from Nivea to use. 
Give me some of your insight because I want to do an all Nivea shave because whenever I talk about Barbasol, shameless plug, that's the old can. You can still get it right now, I think. I think it's out again. Um, people in the UK can't get Barbasol over there, but they all seem to use the readily available Nivea products. And we do have a bunch of Nivea products here, but I've never used them, I don't think. My, you know, I, I'd probably go back six months and find a whole video where I've shaved with Nivea something or other. <laughs> My memory's terrible. Okay, but anyway, let me know what are good uh, Nivea products to, to try, like kind of like the everyday stuff that you'd use. And I'm gonna do that and see what they're like. Man, after this third pass, it's gonna be baby smooth with hardly any work. If you've never used one of these Parker 99Rs, thanks again to Nathan out in Thailand, who's got his own shaving channel now. I'll put a link to that below. I believe it's Nath Shaves. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. I apologize if I got that wrong off the top of my head. But go check him out. He was inspired to start his own YouTube channel and uh, he was very generous with me. He sent me that Merker uh, Future a while back and since I didn't really like it, I sent it back to him because he wants to do it. So it's traveling the world. Can you hear that? Sorry there's no music in the... Uh, oh, I can see you got a couple of nicks. Aggressive. I need to go slower. Pay more attention. Somebody said that Kevy shaves. Uh, I seem to be only name dropping other YouTube shavers today. <laughs> They're on my mind for some reason. Kevy shaves did a shave where he didn't talk the entire time until he was done. I don't think I'll do that because I don't think I could do it. <laughs> I just. I like chatting so much, except when I'm blowing my cheek out to shave and try to get those hairs out. Yeah, I'm getting some nicks. I think it may be this blade. Because I don't normally get this many nicks with this Parker 99R, so I'll take this blade out and put it in the, in the blade bank and get a new one. Give it a shot tomorrow morning. And it's always down here, you know? The nicks are always in the neck. Get those neck nicks. I think I discussed that before. Guess I'm gonna have to use the Allen block. Now the Allen block makes, um, if you're having trouble holding a razor, like if it's too slippery, if you put a little alum on your fingers, it gives you this, this uh, real grip. It like does something, you know, chemically <laughs> to your fingers. The astringent quality of it does something to, to make it a little bit more sticky. Like you get a better grip. So if you're having trouble with a slippery razor, put a little alum on your fingers before you before you shave and it'll help you grip it better. There's a tip for you. See, I knew you were watching for a reason. I get these, not just all the BS. <laughs> and the giveaways. Okay, let's see. There'll be a couple problem areas. So what I do is, put some more water up to wash off, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever you can't see, and then to leave that little bit of slickness. And Robert, your soap smells great, feels good, lathers beautifully. You're very accomplished. And I hope that the winner of the One Blade, who will also receive the Space Soap, will enjoy it too. A couple little spots I can feel, kind of going against the grain here. I'm not gonna go crazy, you know. You don't wanna overshave with an aggressive razor. You know, call it good. Man, I tell you, this thing is almost effortless at getting rid of whiskers on your face. All right, there we go, cold water now, cold water. Woo! Just that hint, just a little bit of menthol, not too much. All right, I'm gonna use the album block. I don't like it, but I'm gonna use it. So everyone gave me great advice. So I'm gonna wet it down here, and I'm just gonna go all over my, ow, 
steam it a little bit all over my face where the nicks are and that'll cause the blood vessels to constrict the astringent quality i was had some great um insight to why these things work because i never really thought about it before but uh so what you do is you do that and then you kind of let it sit for a second it's kind of burning a little bit there's a little bit of, if you get some in your in your mouth it kind of makes your teeth dry <laughs> Kind of like where I said, it gives you like this tactile kind of gr sure grip. It does the same thing in your teeth. It's kind of weird. All right. Leave it there for a second and then wash it off. And then dry. And then apply the aftershave. Ah, cool. Yeah, weird. Don't get... Oh, it's hard not to get alum. I mean, it doesn't taste like anything. It's just got this weird effect in your mouth. <laughs> It'll probably be carcinogenic and you know, 50 years from now. 50 years from now, I won't be around. I hope I will be around. I don't think I'd be, I'd be 99. So, come on. All right, Barbasol. Aftershave. Smells, oh, it's got that alcohol burn. Mm-hmm. Smells like a barbershop. Smells like a clean kind of a, you know, clean, soapy, Old school barbershop smell that's not too strong. Oh, it's got a little bit of a, it's called brisk, so it's got a teeny bit. Ow, I got some, ooh, I got it on that cut earlier. <laughs> oh, jeez, it got in there. But uh, anyway, that's it, folks. So thanks for joining me. Thanks to everybody that, uh, that entered. Um, happy birthday to Chad. Thanks again to Robert for sending me that soap. And uh, I'm gonna figure out something to do for Friday. If you have any um, uh, requests, or any advice or anything, just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll listen. I like to, you know, be inspired to, to use certain things that you guys want me to use. Somebody asked for the Parker 99R because I hadn't used it in a long time. I was like, that's a good idea. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you on Friday.